Welcome to CJ Winner How To Video Series. Here at CJ Winner, we provide better tools, fast delivery, great service, and value. The overview will outline process, list the tools you will need, and show you how to get it done with our step-by-step -step video series. In this CJ Winner How To Video, we will be looking at uh, the ER series of attachment and um, showing you the operation. Specifically, we will uh, look at uh, loading the thread rolls, setting the initial pitch diameter, and then we will also verify that the roll clearance and eccentric rotation uh, clears part major diameter after rolling, so you can pull directly off. So the attachment is opening up and pulling off. And then if uh, additional uh, clearance is needed, there's a way to jump the eccentric rotation range uh, to provide that additional clearance. We will be showing the ER series of attachment operation. Um, basically loading the thread rolls, setting the initial pitch diameter, and we verify the rope clearance and eccentric rotation is adequate to clear the part major diameter after rolling. In case we need to, we will jump the eccentric rotation range if additional clearance is required. So we'll have a 190 attachment here, and it should be in the closed position. We also have a sample part with a 516-24 pitch on it. We have a eight millimeter socket and a three millimeter Allen wrench and the thread rolls, which are the 516-24 thread rolls. So again, the attachment needs to be in the closed position. The first thing we do is uh, we, we remove the front plate by taking out or by unscrewing the button head screws there. There's three button head screws. We now load the rolls, and the rolls are either labeled A, B, C, or 1, 2, 3. That's a number one roll. And uh, the way you load them in is clock in a clockwise rotation. Doesn't matter where you start, as long as they're in the clockwise rotation. So we're loading them 1, 2, and 3 right now. You replace your front plate. And then you reinstall the three button head screws. Make sure you're all snug. The next thing we do is we adjust the pitch diameter to allow that sample part to thread in there in a snug fashion. So we adjust the pitch, open or closed, to do that. And uh, we'll show you where the micrometer gauge is on the side to do that. So you can see the micrometer scale there that shows you where you're at. That's the zero reading right there. Okay. So once you set the, the part in there, you basically tighten the three eight millimeter socket screws there or hex screws in the back snugly. The next thing we will do is we will get we gotta set our zero to the center of the adjustment uh, grid. So that's our setting right now. So after tightening up the, the screws on the bottom we're gonna check the rotation of the eccentric when the attachment opens to make sure it's opening and what's happening is the eccentric is closing the rolls instead of opening so that won't work to clear our major diameter apart so what we do need to do now is that we need to jump the eccentric rotation range so basically we will show you how to do that we first remove the three 8 millimeter X screws. We take the attachment apart, separating the top assembly from bottom assembly. 
And now what we will do is we will move, rotate the gears so that the shape inside diameter of the gear is rotated 180 degrees. So you got to put that D in the opposite direction. So we can just use our finger to do that. Rotate it so it's approximately in the opposite direction. And the screw should still fit in there once we go to the 180 degree position that we talked about. As you can see now, the D is in the opposite direction as it was before 180 degrees and the screw fits. So now we will put the assembly back together, basically making sure that the slots on the bottom portion of the attachment line up with the orientation of the screw uh, on that top assembly. So basically there's three orientations. We will find the one that fits it the best in terms of being centered. Joe, can you show that? So basically you see that the, the adjusting screw for the hex screw is centered to those adjusting slots. We replace the washer and the three eight millimeter hex screws. Snug up the assembly. You can double check the screw goes in there good. And then when the attachment opens up, that it opens and uh, versus closing. So I'm going to be trip the attachment open. Just going to readjust that slightly. There you go. That's in there nice and snug. Then we'll tighten those down. And now activate the attachment so it opens up and verify that it clears the major diameter of the thread. So now when we activate it, you can see that the rows come apart instead of going together. So the eccentric orientation is correct. And with the open position, you can check the screw clears that, no problem. Please visit us at www.cjwinner.com for additional information.